Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in today's video I am going to tell you about the new plant families. I'm going to tell you about the main main features of that new plant families. Right bache, so that you can revise it in a better way. I know NTA has added new topic and you know how difficult it is to remember the floral formulas, the diagrams and of course the examples. But let me tell you in a very simple way I'm going to convey you the things. So I have picked up the main points like the estivation, flowers, superior ovary hypogynous like this right so the things are going to be very easy for you so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you like the video I would like to see your comments in the comment section so here we go let's start with the first family that is your Malvasi family that is your cotton family so cotton china rose right they belong to this family okay so before starting it let me tell you a few things like uh, uh, you know that you will see the symbol K C A even G and some symbols like this okay so I believe you know that and if you don't let me explain this to you so when we say K K means calyx it is basically the group of sepals right so sepals and petals I hope you remember they are the non-essential worlds they are the accessory worlds right students so C means C means corolla it's basically the group of what it is basically the group of petals right so here what will you see the C is what it is the group of petals now A means andresium group of stamens of course G means gynesium group of your uh, pistil or the carpal when this is the sign it is telling us about the radial symmetry of a flower okay it is telling us about what it is telling us about the radial symmetry of of a flower radial symmetry of a flower so radial symmetry let me uh, explain it here so when it is the radial symmetry right so for radial symmetry we also use the word that the flower is what flower is actinomorphic right so if this is the sign it tells us or if this is the sign it tells us that the flower is having what kind of symmetry it is having bilateral symmetry so the flower is zygomorphic so that is what we have to discuss so I don't know whether you remember the diagrams or not uh, examples or not so it is mummy daddy chili America so mustard dhatura chili they are actinomorphic flower so let's relate it and let's understand it right sometimes you will see the symbol P P means perianth so this perianth is basically a group of tepals so now ma'am what are tepals right what are tepals tepals means when your calyx and uh, when your petals and sepals or you can say that when your sepals and petals they are not you know separate they are fused okay so they will form tepals so group of tepal is perianth one thing secondly if br is written means that flower is having brackets if ebr means it is e bracteate so these are few symbols that you need to understand if g is like this like this it means superior ovary and your flower is hypogynous in that case right what type of flower is there flower is hypogynous so superior ovary means ovary is above all other floral appendages it means the degree of protection is less okay so that's why flower is hypogynous if it is written like this it means inferior ovary and your flower is epigynous that's what you have to understand okay so now come back to these features so class is dicot malvasi dicots they are flower is pentamerous pentamerous as in like let's say five petals are there five sepals are there your yeah, ten petals are there ten sepals are there like this then calyx it is gamosepalous what is the meaning of gamosepalous means sepals they are fused let's say they are five they are fused so this bracket tells us about the fusion right they are fusion okay Corolla polypetalous means petals they are free they are not fused to each other understood then andresium numerous stamens are there means many stamens are there and it is monodelphus monodelphus means monodelphus means all the stamens they are just making one bundle they are not making more than one bundle that is the meaning here then gynesium superior and hypogynous so this is how we are going to denote it right inflorescence is cymos cymos inflorescence means the definite growth is there if you remember the new flash okay right what is going to happen there the newly formed flowers they are at base and the elder one will be near to the 
this point okay so brackets are present placentation is exile like in the case of lemon also you see in the case of tomato you remember exile placentation right ovary can be multilocular there fruit is capsule and when you talk about the estivation here calyx means your petals they have well weight estivation just for your quick revision well weight where ends are not touching each other twisted so you can say that one petal is like this another is covering it like this this is the twisted one right one end is covered by the another one so now look at this example hibiscus esculentus hibiscus rosa sinensis that is your china rose okra and cotton is there look at this flower flow formula I hope now it is clear BR is telling is bracteated is so if you remember the floral formula and the floral diagram and or if only the floral formula you will revise all the characters of that family so this is showing us the mother axis student so you guys can see right the flower is radial what type of flower is there what type of flower is there? Flower is having radial symmetry, actinomorphic. This sign is telling us bisexual flower. So here, apicalyx is present. Recall the china rose. Just check the china rose. Check the uh, photo of the china rose, right? So you know that, right? The greenish part is there, but below also, there are some other greenish parts. So what's that? That is the apicalyx 3 to 7. So here, K5 fused means five sepals are there which are fused that's why the word is gamosepalous understood students then there will be the petal petals are five right petals are uh, sorry uh, c is for the petals corolla it means five petals are there and they are free they are not fused so endrisium they are fused they are making one bundle and it is too much so guys if you see sign like this it is telling us about the cohesion these brackets telling tell us about the uh, sorry these my mistake these brackets they tell us about the cohesion cohesion means same things are getting fused sepals are fused it is telling us about the adhesion means your petals are fused with you are joined with the stamen part that is the meaning here right so g here it is superior and hypogynous so now look at this right so five and bracket means it is telling us that it can be uh, pentacarpillary or it can be more than that right so this is what you can see look at this this is the petal fused with the endrisium. So if you understand the floral diagram, floral formula, everything will be easy for you. Move to the next class. Cruciferaceae, that is Brassicaceae. Again, dicots they are. So venation will be reticulate. Hope you remember reticulate venation. Right? Hope you remember reticulate venation. Right? Flower is tetrameris there. Like four, eight, like this. Calyx polycephalus means again sepals are not fused let's say if they are pure they are not fused corolla is polypetalous means petals are also not fused and rhesium it is like stamen 2 plus 4 right 2 plus 4 it is this is how they are present so so basically 6 they are they are polyandrous and tetradynamous actually but they are in a kind of two groups like you can say that the shorter one outside to longer one inside so tetradynamous is the arrangement your mcq can come from this part polyandrous also means they are not Fused, right students so gynecium superior and hypogynous again same sign but yeah remember this can be asked as a question inflorescence is racemos means indefinite growth will be there and here the young flowers they are near to the right near to that growing point right and your older flowers they are at the base then brackets it is without brackets placentation is parietal fruit is silica astivation calyx is imbricate see one petal it is overlapping two and again this is kind of twisted you can see so one petal is overlapping two they this one also and this is how they are present this is velvet right they are not touching each other's corner now focus here mustard is the example cabbage reddish and turnip okay so from these examples right you should know what type of root is reddish what type of root is turnip this is what you need to recall okay so ebr means it is without brackets again radial symmetry bisexuous sepals are two plus two they are also in two two groups right see two outermost two innermost like this so they are not fused that's why the word is yes everyone polycephalus understood so calyx you can see this two outside four like this longer one are here and when you look at uh, sorry my bad this is the endrisium so two outside the four are like this and when you talk about the petals they are four Pe right tetrameris flower is there petals they are four right but so why four x is written because flower is tetrameris it can be eight also it depends upon the that particular flower so again g is this means there are right what is the meaning of the sign 
what is the meaning of this sign it is showing fusion it is showing fusion so it means it means that couples they are fused couples they are fused you know na sin carpus ovary is there couples they are fused sin carpus ovary is there so it is bicarpillary two is telling it two carpels are there and they are fused okay so if it is like this means they are not fused then the word will be apocarpus okay but they are what they are fused sin carpus it is right students now let's move to the family leguminosae right again dicot flower is pentamerous calyx is gamosepalous gamo means fused these sepals are fused corolla is papilionaceous what type of corolla is papilionaceous such type of corolla such type of corolla is papilionaceous where there is a standard right petal okay which is covering these two and then this is the arrangement 1 plus 2 plus 2 that is how petals are arranged this is your papilionaceous corolla right standard petal this is the keel and carina these are the wings or l so that's what you have to remember see how are they fused so again velvet and imbricate are estivation i told you about it right bachche i told you about it in calyx velvet and imbricate estivation you know about it but corolla will be papilionaceous this is a kind of unique feature kindly mark it you guys can expect mcq from this part then stamen it is in two bundles right one stamen is free nine are fused with each other nine are showing synandrous condition they are fused with each other so two bundles are there that's why the word is diadelphus please highlight this gynecium again superior and hypogynous inflorescence is raised most bracket it can be both it depends upon that flower placentation is marginal fruit is legume so look at this look at this look at this right so as i said it depends whether it is bracteate or ebracteate so this floral diagram is telling us about the bracteate flower so these are the example your moong dal soya bean indigo fera so one question can come from this because it gives a dye okay hemp sesavania trifolium lupin sweet pea your pea pisum sativum all of them belongs to this okay so you guys can see here right calyx five fused this is how your corolla is so this is that papilionaceous corolla right bachche so here you can see right when it is andrisium nine are fused together one is free and i told you g is one and it is free okay so it is single carpel is there monocarpillary it is and it is free but yeah the flower is uh, hypogynous because superior ovary is there next is composite a stressi you know that ray floret disc floret that is what you have studied in your book right so class is again dicots flower they are pentamerous calyx it is absent or in the form of hairy papus this is what you can note down corolla is gamosepalous sepals So, uh, okay so here it should be petalous so petals are fused here right andrisium stamen they are five they are also apipetalous what is the meaning of apipetalous i'm repeating this again when your andrisium and corolla right they are fused when there is this adhesion we use the word apipetalous we use the word api petalous right gynecium is inferior so this will be the sign so the flower is epigynous again mcq inflorescence cap uh, capitulum you can just note down i know this is not the part of your syllabus so you cannot expect question from this side flowers they can be bracteate placentation is basal the most advanced one fruit is capsella estivation is cal in calyx it is absent and in corolla it is velvet i hope you know about it so now look at this sunflower lettuce marigold they are the examples so this is your ray floret this is your disc floret so ray floret this is your floral formula again bisexual your calyx corolla right and andrisium so no andrisium is there why ray floret it is okay disc floret may you can see the adhesion is there right so andrisium is fused with petal that's why we use the word api petalous so you can see five andrisium they are also fused five petals they are also fused so you can see this this is your disc floret that's what you have to know so when it is sterile neither andrisium nor gynecium is present in ray floret here you can see gynecium is present understood let's move to the next family poaceae of course it belongs to the class monocots so monocots means parallel venation what type of roots will be there fibrous right imagine grass okay so calyx is polysepalous petals are free flower will be trimerous here 
corolla is polypathous here bachche actually you will also see few example where you will see tuples okay you will see tuples you will see perianth there you will see perianth there clear so endrysium stamen there are three gynesium superior and hypogynous inflorescence pipe bracket bracteate placentation is basal fruit is caryopsis and special point is perianth i told you about it right i told you about it so this from this side your mcq can come so look at this look at this look at this okay so what is there here your calyx why p word is there here your calyx and corolla it is not your petals sepals and petals they are not different they are fused that's why p is the word means tepal is the unit here okay so endrysium 3 or 6 it can be so this can be the ovary can be monocarpillary it can be tricarpillary so if it is tri it is fused the hypogynous condition is there the superior ovary is there so i will give you a suggestion to check lilyaceae as well right because where there you will also see that perianth and endrysium are also fused so obviously as per the example you will see that difference in that floral formula but these are some basic features so wheat maize rice oats barley so you can also check lily okay you can also check lily no this is just a reference for you people right if you want to understand perianth and adhesion uh, perianth and endrysium adhesion then you should check the lily in your ncrt book okay but right so this is all about the family so i hope you enjoyed the lecture right guys so if you want more such session do let me know in the comment section students right if there is any doubt still you can tell me in the comment section so guys just for today just for today you can get your batches our batches your unacademy need english uh, team batches just at rupees five four triple nine if you apply this coupon code right bache right bache so it's a limited time offer there are three batches nimbus is for class 11 your nexus is for class 11 and phoenix is for class 12 so even in class 12th and droppers in droppers entire syllabus will be finished in class 12th you will get class 11th revision and when it comes to the class 11th batch bache here we are very 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 serious because we want right that you guys should have that base for the need preparation so you will get motivational session strategy based session when it comes to content you know that this team is one of the best teams because we have you know your hsp sir you know that how experienced he is we have your wazim sir yavasan and of course me guys so see you guys in my batch so in the description box there is a link guys and tomorrow 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 there is a one very important session and this is the one right need 2024 all examples of ncrt one shot that will be a very quick revision session for all of you so i want to see you guys there so right now just click here and click on the button notify me so I, I will see you all tomorrow 11 a.m right take care stay blessed tell me which topic you want me to get next so thank you so much guys